Hey everyone, it's Marissa. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. Um, I am feeling um, almost 100% better, but um, still not 100%. But anyways, I wanted to quickly share with you what I picked up this weekend. Um, Friday night, I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up just a few things. Um, their wedding stuff last week was 50% off. So I found these, um, they're called Jewel Scatters. And I thought these were so pretty. And these were 50% off. So I haven't seen these before. So I picked up this one. And I picked up the heart. So I picked that up. And then by the paper studio in the stickabilities section where they have all the stickers. I found these. I thought these were really cute. These are oval craft stickers. And that was, um, this has four pieces. And then I found these vintage floral ones. Thought these would be cute. And then I saw these ones. And these are 40 pieces of craft stickers. And it says handmade with love. So I purchased that. And then um, they had a bunch of Copic markers on clearance. So I was able to get some of them. Well, quite a few. <laughs> and I was able to get these. So they're, they were, um, normally they're $5.99? No, $6.99. So I got them for four nineteen. So I picked that up. And then on Pinterest, um, I found, um, I looked up ways to storage your Copics. And my bag that I have my Copics in, um, because I tote my Copics around the house, like upstairs in my bedroom... Or in the living room because you guys know my craft room is in the garage. So a lot of the times I'm spending time with the family in, inside the house. So my little bag was getting too um, packed with all my Copics. So I had seen this on Pinterest. And um, I used a coupon on this. And this is the art bin. And normally it's $4.99. So I thought these were cool to tote around the house. Um, as you can see, there's compartments, and so I can just open it up and leave it on its side and throw my Copics in there. And then there is a handle. You lock it here, and then there is a handle here. So I can tote that around the house. So I was pretty excited that I was able to find this, and eventually, it's not full now, but eventually it will get full once I stock up on all my Copics. So that's what I got Friday night after um, at, in the evening. And then Saturday, there is this place in Anaheim, California called The Makery. And The Makery, it's not a store, but it's a um, place where you can go and um, reserve this, the, the room and um, do different workshops. They have like sewing workshops, crocheting workshops. Um, and different things like that. So they had a rummage sale. And I was able to participate in um, sell some of my crafting stuff. So while I was there, I picked up a few goodies. Um, everything I'm, that I'm going to show you, I purchased for a dollar each. So I found these really cool mason jars. You know, like I needed some more jars. Jars are just so addicting, you guys. So I thought these were cool because there's no like imprint of writing on it. It doesn't say mason jar. So it's just completely bare. So I thought that was cool. Pick that up. And then I found this big bag. And I thought this trim was cool. Because um, I was thinking I can stamp on them and then like tie it in a bow when I um, do racks or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got this big bag for a dollar. And then I found these punches for a dollar. So I picked up whatever they had. And they had more, but I only picked up three of those. So I was able to score on these. And I thought the punch was so cute. Picked up that. And then I saw these two-inch snow trees. And I had to get them because I seen something on Pinterest that I would like to try um, during the holidays. So I picked up this. That was 25 cents. Found these little canvas bags. Um, found these little ribbons. 
thought these were cute. And then I just found this um, fabric for a dollar as well. So that's what I picked up there Saturday morning. It was like at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I went there and that's what I picked up. Let me just put this stuff away real quick. Excuse the noise. Okay. And then um, I went to Michael's yesterday and was able to pick up a few things on clearance. And let me just find a place. And so, you know, their old $1.50 items are now on clearance. So I was able to find a few of their felt bows. So I picked these up for 50 cents. And then I finally found these burlap bags. So that's what I picked up from Michaels. And then I also want to share with you um, one of the items that I was super excited to get. Um, I was able to get three, no, actually four of those um, plastic recollection bins. So I want to share with you that. Okay, so hopefully my camera doesn't fall. So here's the bin. This was on clearance for four, uh, $25. And I put all of my Prima things in there. So I got three of these. And I love it. Hope you guys can see that. Love it. So I purchased that. And then I also purchased this bin right here. And this one was like $17.99. So that's what I picked up there. Super excited that I scored on that. Because I want to... My craft room, again, is out of hand. And so I have to organize it very very soon because it's just crazy so that's what I got and then this morning I met up with Vicki um, we spent the early morning she was at my house at 7 o'clock and then we went to the swap meet we went to Party City we went to Michael's and then we had lunch so it was fun to have some girl time and so let me just show you some of the things that I got Vicki shared some of her laces with me so I got like two yards of that And then some of this pretty lace. And there was tons and tons of new lace, you guys. So if you're here in Southern California, go check them out because they had a whole bunch of cool stuff. But I was on a budget. I'm putting myself on a budget, so. And then I found this trim, and I've never seen this before. It has, like, rosettes with lace at the bottom. So I thought that was gorgeous because I've never seen anything like this and I don't have anything like that. So I picked some of that up. And then here's some more lace trim that Vicky shared with me. And then I found these. Never seen these before. These blings. Look at. They have the dangly part right here. Super gorgeous. And this is like a roach maybe so I picked up a few of those and I found this I saw this and I was like oh my gosh I love the color and the lace so I found some of this gorgeous gorgeous trim look at that look at how pretty that is gorgeous and I love the color so I picked that up and then um, I picked up some of these, this trim, and I thought this was cool to um, cut apart and just use the, this part. So I picked up that. And then I picked up this one. I thought this was interesting. I've never seen this one before. And I also thought with this one, you can cut apart. It looks like little doilies. So you can cut this apart right here. So I got that. And then this was the only piece left. So I was able to get this. And this will probably be in my hoard box. Because um, I only got a little bit of this. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, my camera moved. Hold on. Let me just move my camera. Okay. 
look at how pretty this is it reminds me of a banner so and it's like a um a beige and they didn't have a whole lot left they only had this much so i was able to get that i found this scallop dainty pretty lace i can make flowers with this so i picked this up just put all that there background all the colors and I also found this one which is pretty it looks like that got that um, <coughs> found some black seam binding the whole roll my buddy over there at the swap meet saved it for me <laughs> and then I bought a few yards of this gorgeous lace here to share with my crafty friends Super pretty. And I think this was like, I think he said three yards for a dollar. So I got that. That's really pretty. And then last but not least, I found this bag and it just has a bunch of different appliques in there. So there was this applique right here. And then they also had this interesting one where it has like, cream and like pink stitching in there but I thought that was so pretty and different so that's my haul you guys um I have another video to do I'm gonna try to find time to do it because I have to clean this mess now so um I'll talk to you guys later bye